with a mercy case from Boston. TJ Welch, everyone. All right. called Uncle Buck. Haven't heard from Mary when she was occupying Mars or Mars. She told everyone who waved to begs everyone to stay. In fact, she said it's fine. If growing up means giving in, I'd rather die today. Cause I'd rather be a failure than do something that I hate. It's a shame to see the same old lie We're down and out, but we all ride it Everybody wants to run away But she made a million But she was working all the time It's fine, she said it's fine She threw her love out to the side Doesn't watch the moonlight or the tide It's fine, she said it's fine If growing up means giving in I'd rather die today Cause I'd rather be a failure than do something that I hate It's the same routine, the same old lie We're down and out, but we're all right in. Everybody wants to run away Don't grow up too fast
Uh, this next one is called I'm Doing Just Okay in the 90s when everybody's doing very good in the 90s. Berserk. Don't look at me that way. I am a human. Not me. Don't tell me that it's raining when you're pissing on my head. What you say? Well, I took good breath inside. I can't even take another night of this. Something deep inside. I can't even take another night of this. I love you the same way It's so hard to breathe Can't see That I'm the one who's crazy And you're the one who's sick Yes, me Well, I'll take you to the side I can't even take another night oh. Something deep inside I can't even take another night This one's called Better Off. It's for all the ex-girlfriends. Holding on to everything, nothing at all. 
This one is called The Day My Friends Went Crazy. Yeah, he's one of them. The Day My Friends Went Crazy. This is perfect.
know I deserve it I've been drinking myself to sleep Thank you. This is our last song, I guess. Blah, blah, blah. This one's called Liar. song. Together, before we get 
go. Uh, here we are with the Mercy Case, and we're down in the uh, Man Cave. This is uh, where my sons play video games, and where an occasional band comes for an interview. And uh, you guys are fantastic. Thanks for coming on my show. Thanks for having Thanks us. For us. That was a blast. Uh, it was also one of the first times I've seen you. I saw you once before when you were just forming, uh, and uh, you know you come a long way. I, I really like the music, and the performance was great. Um, for those of you who uh, aren't familiar, uh, Frankie Beers here, Frank LeConte, Le mm -hmm. um, is uh, was also on Sonic Lobotomy maybe about five years ago or so when, when you were the singer for 26 Beers, which was more of a metal style band. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what episode that was, but it's worth checking out in our li online library at YouTube slash Sonic Lobotomy, checking out the 26 Beers episode where you were screaming your balls off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but nowadays you've taken more to uh, not just being a lead singer, but the uh, front man, the guitar player, and uh, you're using your uh, vocal cords differently. <laughs> <laughs> Say the least, yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, That's when I was back when I was young and youthful and... Yeah. Had no fear of anything and, you know. You are more pissed off back then. Yeah, I was a lot more pissed off. Now I write a little more songs. drunk. A little more drunk. I was much more drunk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. there you go. Well, we all grow up. Right? Yeah. But uh, great to have you on so many years later now with uh, your fabulous new band. Let's uh, let's introduce the guys starting, starting here. I'm Frankie, Frankie Beers. I am Dom Milroy. <laughs> I'm Rich Ronaldson. All right, good, good. And, uh... How long have you been together? Oh, you guys. Uh, this lineup, probably about two years. Two years. The band as a whole, probably about five years. And I joined probably about three and a half years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Are you guys all Easty guys? I know you're from East Boston or Frank. No. Um, I'm from Malden and Chelsea. Oh, Everett. from Malden. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> from Everett. Rich Everett, is an Everett right. guy, yep. Great, great. And... Uh, so you've been together a bit of time, and uh, you've you got some great original stuff written. Um, do you have any CDs released, or you, have you done much in that uh, respect? We, uh, we put out a full-length um, 
probably, probably 2011. Yeah, it was. Yeah, 2011. Yeah. Before, Prior to Dom. Before Dom was in the band. Yeah. Um, it was uh, seven, seven or eight songs. Um, just some of like the oldest stuff from pretty much the beginning of the band to uh, when Rich joined. Um, that's really the only thing we have for release. It's on iTunes and stuff. Uh, but oh. Oh, uh, what is the name of that record? The best, best we, we deserve. deserve. The best we deserve. French doesn't know it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, someone's got to pay attention to these things. That's good. So you recorded that. Where'd you uh, end up recording that one? That one was done at Q Division in Somerville. Oh yeah. Uh, with uh, uh, Chris, Chris John Johnson. Chris Johnson, who is a great engineer. He actually is the live guy for the Red Chord. Um, he does. Uh, he toured with like Job for a Cowboy. Job for a Cowboy. Terror. Oh, yeah. A bunch of some Terror. of the bigger like, metal and hardcore bands. So he uh, definitely knows his stuff. He grew up on uh, punk rock and like pop punk and stuff. So his his mixes uh, I felt really encapsulated what we were going for. Yeah, that Q Division is a great sound and drum room too, and it, and they've got all vintage gear. And if you can afford it, it's a great studio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we got lucky. It's it pays to have friends yeah. in high high places. Sure. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Get a little discount. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So you got that CD out. That's available on iTunes, and uh, you can probably get it through your website or something too. Or? Uh, it's available on. We have uh, just a Facebook page right yeah. now in a Bandcamp, um, Reverb Nation. It's all over the place. Yeah. yeah so if you go on yeah, Facebook shows. and you throw in Mercy Case, you're gonna get it. Yep. 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 Yeah. Good. Now you know. That was the past. What's uh, what's going on? You've got a lot of new songs written. You're going back in the studio again and do another album? We we actually we recorded a record uh, up in Gloucester at Bang a Song Studio um, with um, Jen. Jen, <laughs> I'm, I'm just a wreck today. Uh, with uh, Jen Morrison, who is uh, you know very you know good up and coming uh, you know uh, tech. And uh, we did another seven songs. Uh, we ended up scrapping a bunch of them um, to put together an uh, electronic press kit um, to kind of just sort of like shop around to some independent labels and stuff. Um, and that's that's in the final stages. We just gotta hit send on the order. Yeah. Uh, you know, but we're just you know we're still kind of shopping it around before we actually make a hard copy because no one buys CDs anymore anyway. Yeah, so. you're right. You know, I mean. You're you just want to get it out there at this point. Exactly. Yeah. Download cards. Yeah. Download, download Spotify, cards. Yeah. You know, streaming uh, beats has now got a, uh, a similar. You know, I, I think streaming is going to be the future of music, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's kind of. I mean, Slacker Radio, Pandora. I mean, there's there's a million sites where yeah. you can just type in your favorite band and hear a million artists that sound exactly the same. Yeah, and it's free. Yeah, the iTunes Radio just came out too. Yeah. Now. iTunes Radio. Yeah. Yeah. Price is right. The sound is pretty good too, right? Yeah. 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 But, are you guys uh, doing a lot to support your music as far as, you know, I, I know I see you playing around town a lot. Um, have you done much touring up the coast or anything? We, uh, you know, we've probably been as far north as Maine. We were actually just talking, we're playing uh, Punk Fest up in Maine at the end of May. Um, but we've done New Hampshire, we've done, we recently Rhode Island. Uh, we, you know, we went Connecticut, to New Jersey. Connecticut, New Jersey. Jersey, New York. You know, we try to get around as much as possible around here. It's, uh, you know, it's tough to get outside of New England nowadays where, you know, shows are so inconsistent as far as draw, and you can never really ask for a guarantee, especially at a local show. You know what I mean? It, it's tough to keep going when you're completely funding yourself. You know what I mean? And no one seems to care. You know what I mean? When yeah. you, you know, so you know, we try to stay as local as we can, and you know, kind of build up a try to grab a, a following around here, and then hopefully it'll. What are your favorite uh, venues to play around here? Uh, what are some of the better ones we play? We play O'Brien's all Great the time. Great Scott's so. really good. Yeah, Great Scott's, Scott's cool. yeah. yeah. Good sound there. Yeah, it's, yeah they do. I hate, I hate Alston, but it seems to be the only place yeah, that exactly. shows <laughs> happen around here. It's like all the time we spend avoiding Alston, that's always where we end up. Yeah. Yeah, that's where the concentration of uh, the culture seems to be yeah, uh, exactly. nowadays, you know. Uh, it's kind of moved a little bit. Uh, growing up, it was always Cambridge for me. Yeah. Middle East, uh, rest in peace, high five pizza. That was that was the shit. Uh, you know. Um, oh, high five pizza is that? A, a yeah, they just they just they just <laughs> bought it up. Said thanks for the memories and uh, you know. Well, the pizza was getting pretty greasy near the end. Yeah. It was just, <laughs> it was just, I always used to go for a slice whenever we play the Middle East. It's just like cardboard with cheese on it yeah, at, I mean, at the end. Yeah. A couple hours later, you're sitting in a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> why, did I, why did I do this? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, like the Middle East, you know, TTs. Um, you know, even the uh, just some of the better 26 beer shows were at the, uh, um, what's that place? Uh, 
Oh, jeez. No, no, it was uh, like an, what the hell was it called? Where is it? It's in Cambridge. There is a... Uh, no, it's uh, like a Knights... Asia? No, it's like a Knights of Columbus. What the hell is it called? Oh, the Elks. The Elks. Wow. wow. Yeah, they Jeez. do a lot of good hardcore shows. At the um, they recently just started doing that again, which is which is good, because I always really enjoyed playing that venue, so... And it's all ages, too. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, that's that. something that thing. Boston put a, put a stop to, mm -hmm. as far as, you know, like getting kids... They, they made it really hard for kids to get out to shows, which I think really... Even screwed someone a like lot of me people. Where I was under 21 when I joined the band, it sucked trying to play shows. Yeah, they make you like stay outside till you played. Yeah. Um, when you hide in the corner. Yeah. Exactly. Play basketball. Yeah. I got so drunk that night. <laughs> play, play virtual cop. Yeah. 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 yeah they, uh, you know, they made slam dancing illegal, and you know, yeah. it's almost like the, you know, the mayor got hostile toward the punk rockers and the rock and roll scene in the city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of um. I uh, I work uh, seasonally right now for the city of Boston doing special events and like stuff like that. And um, one of the arguments I always try to put forth was, um, you know, um, back at the in the heyday of the Dropkicks, um, they had the Dropkicks play with like the Mounting Souls, and there was this whole write up about how everyone was so violent and like all this <laughs> stuff, and it was just kids dancing. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Yeah. Th this is what violence is to some people. And then they had a hip hop show. And someone got stabbed in the crowd. And that's cool, right? But yeah, but hip, but hip hop shows like you know, no disrespect to hip hop, you know, but like that's true. We all love. You know, you can't if you're gonna, you know, uh, like kind of shorthand one. You got to do it. You know, you got to yeah. kind of clear it across the even the board, right? Y yeah, yeah. I mean, it is. Uh, it's it's not right that one form of music gets the scrutiny and another doesn't. Exactly. You know? And that's that's exactly what you're saying. I don't think any form of music should get the scrutiny unless unless it's really turning into a bad scene and and things are going wrong. Right. But I mean, no one has died at a punk show in Boston in in a long time. You yeah. Know? Uh, yeah, the last uh, big incident that I can remember was when Drew Bledsoe jumped off stage for Paradise <laughs> yeah. 15 years ago and ended up breaking someone's neck. You know? Was that ever 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 clear? It right? was an ever clear. Yeah, show. Yeah. 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 As long as you keep qu professional quarterbacks off the stage, <laughs> you're doing all right. Well, I don't think uh, Tom Brady is going to be stage diving. I think he's nah, he's too pretty for a little that. bit too pretty. Yeah. Uh, he might ruin his hair a little his bit. Ox. Yeah, yeah, his <laughs> eyes. Everyone's wearing dark minds. He's wearing ox. <laughs> Oh boy! So uh, you guys, wonderful show. I love the songs. You came out there and slayed it. Um, what are some some of your favorite songs that you do? You know, maybe you can elaborate on a song or two and, and what it's about, and, and who wrote it, and how it came about. I mean, let me know what's your what's your number one song so far that you guys seem to like the most. You guys, I mean, we probably have three different favorites to play yeah. live. Yeah. I'd say yeah. my favorite's probably The Day My Friends Went Crazy, which is one of our newer ones we just wrote. That one came out really good. Mm -hmm. um, I get to sing it, that, so I like that one. <laughs> much, really, but I kind of keep them, like, off the microphones. Yeah, Because yeah. it, it takes away from my stardom, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? I'm really That's trying true. to, I'm really trying to break away. and do him when he practices, just throws them at me when I try <laughs> I to I spray them. Stuff. I spray them with, like, a water can, mm -hmm. yeah. Um... <laughs> I like Uncle Buck. It's an old one. It's like kind of in the middle, like when I started to now. But it's who's Uncle Buck? Who's that one? About? That uh, well, uh, one of the the gimmicks of the band when we first started was uh, we're all big John Candy fans. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so mo yeah, how can you not be? Well, right. Most of our songs, um, you know, uh, had. Well, all of our songs on the first record had John Candy titles, and by the second one, we had some overlap of two mm. or three John Candy-related songs. I think we actually originally had, like, two yeah. albums worth, and then we stopped, so we kind of... Yeah, we just like, kind of, like, we're like, this is getting a little bit out of control, because, you know, some people look for the song title to kind of represent what the song's about. Yeah. And like you said, Uncle Buck, like, what's that about? Like, it's nothing... <laughs> it's, got nothing it. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with it. Uh, that one's actually about the... Um, the Occupy uh, movement that happened, you know, was it a year or two ago? Yeah. Um, and it was just my, it was my appreciation for the idea, but my distaste for the implementation. Um, I think they, the, the Occupy movement had a great idea, but they just, they didn't, Comes, they didn't think uh, about it long yeah. enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. They, they, they had no way to, to get where they needed to go. Um, you know, so it's about like, uh, a girl that I knew and that like a, a fictional character I knew who was who was always talking about how she was gonna change the world and you can't do that when you're sleeping on the 
<laughs> front steps of the state house. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Not without an idea more than let me just sleep on the state house uh, steps. Yeah, you, you know? They all had great intentions, but their uh, application of uh, of their you know protest was yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, time spent could have been spent a lot yeah. better. <laughs> yeah. but they had a good party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but keep with it, Occupy. You know, I'm really, yeah. I'm really pulling for you. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's it's not right that uh, one percent have all the money in this country, and that was their main thing they were going after. Yeah, the imbalance of wealth, and and they had you know, economic type uh, uh, grievances behind that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Um, it was it wasn't like in the '60s the hippie movement where it was you know against the war. Yeah. Although I mean I'm sure the a lot of the Occupy people. Oh sure. The, yeah. You know, but. So, yeah, it was something more kind of direct to target at when you're targeting at like the economy. Oh it's yeah, busting back harder to kind of point yeah. the finger at somebody. Yeah. 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 But, right. But yeah, you got a good song out of it. You mm -hmm. you you uh, professed your uh, your your sympathies for these people and uh, and you called it Uncle Buck. <laughs> <laughs> John Candy, is he still dead? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think so. All right, guys, how about uh, your influences? What what type of bands? Uh, do you, I mean, we can see from your shirts who you like, and mm -hmm. it's, it's quite diverse. Led Zeppelin, Global Threat, and The Clash. Uh, so, you know, you mix it all together, you, you get the Mercy case. But what other bands do you really inspire you? Maybe something obscure that wouldn't occur to us or something. Um, Obscure bands? I don't know. Just like... A lot of like like the Midwest pop punk stuff like you mentioned Banner Weasel, Pilot, yep, Screeching Weasel. Yeah. Um, I think it's from the Ergs. The Ergs are a big one for me. The Queers, of the course. Queers, yep. It was like the first punk show I ever went to. It was like the Queers at the Middle East upstairs. Oh yeah. Still one of the That's my main influences as far as like you know like guitar writing goes. It was yeah. so simple but so so yeah. unique and aggressive at the same time, you know. Ramones status. Right? Ramones, yeah. yeah, totally, yeah. I mean, anyone after the Ramones ripped off the Ramones is yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Richie, your influences? Well, you know, mainly drummers, you know. Dream Theater, Mike Portnoy. Yeah. Before, you now he's not in the band anymore. And mm -hmm. I refuse to go see them now because he was like my key drummer that I listened to when I played. Yeah. He's amazing. You know, Fair Factory, we got... Led Zeppelin, of course, John Bottom. Yep. Everybody's style is just all mixing together. Yeah. That's definitely the thing of with, like, Richie's drumming. Generally, I'm just kind of sitting there mind-blown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that's my job in bands, to watch Richie. You know, it's nice to have, like, a, such a, you know, diverse drummer where we are only a three-piece. It really does help to have, like, someone to fill in where there would be a second guitarist, you know, to fill in that noise. That's... You know, like, you know, you got to be louder, I guess, yeah, <laughs> when, exactly. you're in a, when you're in a three-piece. Yeah, as a trio, you got more space to fill, and uh, you guys did it nicely. You know, that was a, a great performance. Nice. Um, all the new stuff sounds great. Thanks. Um, what's, uh, what else you got planned? What's on the horizon for Hope, k Hopefully, uh, we'd like to get on the road, kind of broaden the... the, the I read, do at least uh, like some sort of like East Coast. Yeah, whole get down a little bit further to than we usually would, and you know, usually in the summertime, Maine's always you know something we do. Connecticut, you know, we play on Western Mass. I think we mentioned playing the punk I, fest. Uh, yeah, a punk fest up in uh, you know Orono, Maine, and um, I, I'd like to get us down a little bit further south. You know, maybe even just to like to, to Baltimore, or like something. Salt of the Mason some, Dixon line. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> gets a little gets a little there. scary down there. Yeah. Down uh, south of the Mason Dixon, yeah. You, you, <laughs> even I get a little nervous yeah. down there. Yeah, they'll be able to tell you with your Boston accent. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's a Yankee. Yeah, like, exactly. yeah, I'm a Red Sox fan. What do you leave, leave me with? <laughs> yeah, now Mercy Case, uh, what, what, what's the significance of the name? Um, I'm actually excited to hear that because I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, all right, I'm just going to come out and say it. Uh, I plugged... Uh, <laughs> I already know this is going. I, I turned on my computer and went to bandnamegenerator.com <laughs> and I typed in the word mercy and the first one that came up was the mercy case. Two years I've been in this band trying to figure out what the uh, was and that was the And then in awesome. some weird case, in some weird instance too there's this uh, the story of a body uh, back in the 1800s that was exhumed, but like there was no like sign of like any digging or anything. Yeah. It just went missing and it was called the Something Mercy case. Uh -huh. So we tell all the people that are really into like Twilight and stuff that we're like a vampire band. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, we're a scary vampire band. Now you gotta write a song called Mercy Case. Mercy Case. <laughs> 
It'll be the intro and the outro. We'll just write Based one. It's not the Uncle Buck story. I'll have nothing to do with it. Yeah, I'll have nothing to do with anything. Right, exactly. Uh, you want to shout out to any of your, your buddies, any of the bands that you're tight with? There's, um, this, there's this really awful band uh, called the Fake Boys. Yeah. <laughs> We've heard of them. Yeah. 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 Whoa, wait. Hey, what are you? Oh, no. Fake what boys are you in here? Oh, <laughs> guys, come say hi. What are you getting? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, this I did look over oh, one second. <laughs> I didn't think this was your hand, and I didn't want to say anything. Wow, that thing's really kind of messed up. It's wow. pretty, yeah. it's yeah. pretty impressive. Like yeah. Um, wow. Pisano, yeah, we'd like to thank Pisano Wine, Colorado. Yeah. Um, Inspiration. Crown yeah, Royal. Was, uh, Crown Royal, yeah. yeah. Marijuana, yeah, of course. And this uh, box right here. This right? box. Yeah. Um, but bands, band shutouts. Uh, um, um, we my buddies in, actually, Buddy System just turned to Gaze Hound, I think is the name of that band now. So for them, and um, also Rat Trap. I got a couple buddies in there. Yep. Two good, good bands. One's a pop good. punk band, a hardcore band. All yeah. right. Um, who else? I don't know. Arms you know and Ears. Bands. Arms Arms and and my is. buddy's the drummer in that band. Um, there's Pretty a great good. scene. Um, there's a great scene up in Gloucester, Mass. Um, that actually we uh, we kind of our first show. Um, these guys weren't in the band yet, but uh, it's actually with the Fake Boys. Uh, this great band from um, up north, uh, up north, up yeah. in Gloucester, uh, called uh, the Boyfriends, mm -hmm. uh, who uh, who are just this great like uh, power pop. You know, four piece, you know, yeah. very replacements heavy style mm -hmm. bands. Um, the little Richards up in Gloucester. The li yeah, yeah, much cuter, yeah. yeah. Um, who else is, uh, who, who do we miss? Uh, the Young Leaves, yep. um, yeah. who are a great band. Uh, oh, we actually have friends. We, yeah, we, have, we have some friends, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, there's too many to name. If yeah. we missed you, you can yeah. talk to us. Yeah, if we missed you, yeah. come on the show. Yeah, come yeah. on the show. <laughs> Um, and you're also from East Boston. You you know uh, Ryan and uh, yeah from the uh, yeah. from the Gage days. Gage from yeah, first band way back when. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's uh, it's a small world out there. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. It's it's weird that you know I kind of I always listen to growing up in East Boston. I, I listened to a lot of the rap metal of the '90s because uh, <laughs> yeah. that's all there was. You know, couldn't it's avoid like it. yeah, you couldn't avoid it. You know, bands like you know, well, Biscuit. Limp Biscuit, yeah, <laughs> of course, Corn and Godsmack and yeah. all those bands. Deftones. Um, but what's funny is like you know when I started getting into punk rock um, and started to really like SSD, Ugh. and then <laughs> and then I realized Al was actually engaged. Yeah. It was like everything comes full circle, yeah. man. Everything is like uh, there's only so many musicians in Boston. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, without overlap, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, guys, uh, anything else to say? Buy, yeah. buy local. Yeah. Yeah, buy local. Come to shows. Come to, yeah, come to shows. Go, that's really. That's go to really shows. Uh, uh, stickers all over the place. Yeah. Cool. Just grab a handful of stickers yeah. and continue to give. Continue to tell your boss to go fuck himself. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's what you need to do. Put yeah. them in Canada. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in Toronto. All right. Well, thanks again for the mercy case for coming on the show. Yeah. Thanks for having Thank us. you. Da 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>